Hello everyone, welcome to Hoopla Kids How To. Today I am going to show you how to make a really cool and creepy Play-Doh witch. Doesn't she look great? Perfect for Halloween. So, for this you're going to need yellow Play-Doh, purple Play-Doh, a Play-Doh rolling pin, light and dark green Play-Doh, black Play-Doh, orange Play-Doh, a Play-Doh knife, brown Play-Doh and white Play-Doh. The first thing we want to do is to take our light brown Play-Doh. We're going to roll it into a spaghetti. This is going to be the broomstick. Next we're going to take our yellow Play-Doh. We're going to make the bristles of the brush out of this. Roll it into lots of little yellow spaghettis and start to assemble them together. Now we're going to squish down one end of our brown broomstick and then we can stick the yellow bits on top. See? Once you've done one layer, start layering it up with the second layer. This will add depth to your broom. Now I'm going to add the bristles at the top. These are going to be shorter than the bottom ones. Gosh, it looks good, doesn't it? And finally, we want to add a strip of Play-Doh over the top to tie it all together. I'm going to add two to make it look extra realistic. Now we want to make the body of the witch. We're going to do this using the black Play-Doh. Roll a piece out using your Play-Doh rolling pin. We're now going to cut the shape of the witch. Like so. Make sure you smooth down the edges. We're now going to place our witch onto the broomstick. Next, we need to make the witch's face. We're going to do this with the light green Play-Doh. Use your Play-Doh knife to shape the edges. We want to have a chin and, of course, a pointy nose. There's the nose. Gosh, she looks scary already. Now we need to make some scary hair. I'm going to do this out of orange Play-Doh. And it's the same process that I made the broom out of. Gosh, she's looking scary. Now we need to add her head to her body. Of course we haven't finished though, we need to make some arms. Do this out of the light green Play-Doh. Now using some more black Play-Doh, we need to make a hat. We want this to be a cone shape. Use your rolling pin and your knife to make it perfect.
She's really looking like a witch, isn't she? Now we need to add the rim of her hat. To add some final detail, I'm going to make purple socks. Like so. It's all coming together, isn't it? To add some final detail, I'm going to make purple socks. To match the purple socks, I'm going to add some purple trim to the hat. Now I'm adding some black stripes to the witch's purple socks. And finally, of course, we need to add some shoes. Shape them with your knife and your rolling pin. Now the boots and socks are finished. Of course, we need to add some detail to our witch's face. So she's going to have a white eye with a black pupil. I also want to add some more detail to the witch's cloak, so I'm making a star out of white play-doh to pop on there. Looks good, doesn't it? But I think we could do with some more. So let's make a moon. And now, a witch wouldn't be complete without her dark green wart. Ooh, she's scary. I've also used the dark green to make her mouth. And finally, let's finish it off with one more star for our witch's cloak. And there you have it, a witch made out of Play-Doh. How scary, perfect for Halloween. So thank you very much for watching Hoopla Kids How To everyone, bye. Hello everyone, welcome to Hoopla Kids How To. Today I'm gonna to show you how to make a Play-Doh Halloween Jack-O-Lantern. Cool, huh? He looks great and so easy. All you need is green Play-Doh, light orange Play-Doh, black Play-Doh, dark orange Play-Doh, a Play-Doh knife, and a Play-Doh rolling pin. First we're going to take our light orange Play-Doh and we're going to roll it into a thick sausage. We're then going to cut it into three different sections, like so. We're going to do exactly the same thing with our dark orange Play-Doh. It's kind of like cutting up a carrot. So then we're going to alternate the orange pieces together, like so. This is to make sure that our jack-o'-lantern has got texture. Once they're sitting together, you want to smooth down the edges into the shape of your jack-o'-lantern. Now use your rolling pin to mold them together. Set that aside. We're now going to take our green Play-Doh. We want two little bits. 
we're going to use one and turn it into a sausage. And we're going to turn the other into a ball. This is going to be our leaf, so use your knife to shape it. Add detail as well. Then stick it on the end. Now we've got a stalk and a leaf. Gosh, it's looking good already. Now you want to take your black Play-Doh and roll it out with your rolling pin. This is for the detail. We want a square, so we can cut it in half. Now we have two eyes, like so. Take the rest and roll it flat. We're now going to make the mouth. Cut out the detail using your Play-Doh knife. It's looking creepy already. And now we get to lay the detail onto our jack-o'-lantern. Smooth down any rough edges. Nearly finished. Doesn't he look great? And there you have it. Perfect for Halloween. A Play-Doh Halloween jack-o'-lantern. Thank you for watching Hoopla Kids How To everyone. Bye. Hello everyone, welcome to Hoopla Kids How To. Today I am gonna show you how to make some really amazing Play-Doh autumn leaves. Don't they look real? But they're made out of Play-Doh. So all you're gonna need for this is some autumnal colored Play-Doh, a Play-Doh rolling pin, a Play-Doh knife, and some leaves. So let's get started. The first thing you wanna do is to roll out your Play-Doh using your rolling pin. You can use any one of your colours, it doesn't matter. We're then going to take one of our leaves and we're going to press it into the Play-Doh. You want to use the side that's got the most detail on it, the ridges. Roll it in using your rolling pin. And then we're going to take your Play-Doh knife and we're going to cut around the edge of the print. You should be able to see the detail imprinted into the Play-Doh. Keep cutting. Your leaf is starting to take shape. Gosh, it looks good, doesn't it? And look at that. It's a leaf made out of Play-Doh. Now we want to repeat that. Remember, you can use any different colored Play-Doh you like, and you can use any different type of leaf. What leaves do you have in your garden? This one's a long and skinny leaf.
This is a great arts and crafts to learn about texture. What do the different leaves feel like? Some are going to be soft and some are going to be crunchy. Why is that? Do you know? Let us know in the comment box below if you do. And here's another leaf. Keep rolling. You can make as many leaves as you like. Isn't this fun? Wow, this one's pretty too. Last one, in brown. Gosh, this one looks good. I like this one. So pretty. And there you have it, autumnal leaves, and they're made out of Play-Doh. How exciting. So thank you very much for watching Hoopla Kids How To Everyone. Thanks so much for watching. Bye. Hello everyone, welcome to Hoopla Kids How To. Today I'm gonna to show you how to make a Play-Doh turkey. Isn't he cute? So, for this, you are going to need some pink Play-Doh, white Play-Doh, brown Play-Doh, orange Play-Doh, yellow Play-Doh, black Play-Doh, and some red Play-Doh. So let's get started. The first thing we want to do is to take our brown Play-Doh. Set some of the brown Play-Doh aside. That's for the tail. We're now going to make the body. It should be a round sausage shape. Make a hole in the top using your little finger. Now we're going to take our pink Play-Doh. We're going to make the head out of this. Roll it until it's smooth. It should be about the width of your finger. We want to bend it into kind of an S shape. Set that aside and get your yellow Play-Doh. We want to make the beak out of the yellow. It should look like so. Stick it to the pink Play-Doh. Now we need two dots out of the white Play-Doh to make the eyes. Stick 
Keep them on either side of the turkey's face. Of course we want to add detail using the black Play-Doh. Now we're going to take the red Play-Doh. Roll it into a spaghetti. We want to loop this over the turkey's beak. Now use the orange Play-Doh. We want to make this into a tear shape. Set that aside and do the same with the yellow Play-Doh. These are going to form the feathers of the turkey's tail. See, it's starting to come together. Now we want to do the same with the brown Play-Doh. Remember, we want them to be perfect. Finally, the red. Now we want to make two orange feet. So roll the orange Play-Doh into two little balls and flatten it down using your thumb. Now sit them at the base of the tail. Now it's time to put it all together. Take the body of your turkey and stick it on top of the feet. We're then going to bring the bits of the tail up so that the feathers sit upright. Like so. Now we're going to take the neck. And we're going to sit it in the hole we made in the body. Perfect. And there you have it. Adjust the tail feathers and you're ready to go. Isn't he cute? A Play-Doh turkey. So thank you very much for watching Hoopla Kids How To everyone and we'll see you again soon. Bye! Hello everyone, welcome to Hoopla Kids How To. Today I'm going to show you how to make Incy Wincy Play-Doh. This is one of my favourites and it's so easy. All you need is black Play-Doh, white Play-Doh, pink Play-Doh, eight pipe cleaners and a Play-Doh knife. So the first thing we're going to do is to make Incy's body. We're going to do this with the pink Play-Doh. I think that's a perfect Incy body. Now we're going to get some white Play-Doh to make the eyes. Roll it into a ball and flatten it. And now the other one. Now let's add some detail with the black Play-Doh. Otherwise his eyes wouldn't be finished, would they? And of course, we can't forget his mouth. 
let's give him a big incy wincy smile. So now it's time to do the legs. Because the spider has eight legs, remember? It's going to have four on each side. This is what we use the pipe cleaners for. Bend them in half and stick them into the side of Incy. Four on one side, and then four on the other side. Is that simple? And now he's done. And there we have it. Incy Wincy in Play-Doh. Isn't that cool? So thank you very much for watching Hoopla Kids How To everyone. Bye. Hello and welcome to Hoopla Kids How To everyone. Today we are going to be making a really, really cute Play-Doh happy face cake. Now this is really quick and easy, but so much fun. All you need is a rolling pin, a knife, colored Play-Doh, a large jar, and a small jar. So what you want to do is roll out the white Play-Doh, then use the large jar to create a large circle. Then roll out your second colour. Make a second circle. Finally, we're going to get the third colour. Remember, you can get creative and use any different colour you like. I've chosen to use white, then purple, and then finally blue. There you go, the cake base. Now we're going to make little circles using the yellow. Use your small jar to do this, or you could use a cookie cutter. Now, use your knife to create a mouth. Now it's time to pop the face onto your cake. And there you have it. Super cute! That quick and that easy to make a really, really fun Play-Doh happy face cake. So thank you very much for watching everyone. Don't forget to be creative and use different colours in your happy face cake. Thanks for watching! Hello everyone and welcome to Hoopla Kids How To. Today I'm going to show you how to make an absolutely adorable Play-Doh Sean the Sheep. He looks so real, doesn't he? For this, you're only going to need white Play-Doh, black Play-Doh, a Play-Doh knife, and a toothpick. So let's get started. The first thing we want to do is to make Sean's head. We're going to do this out of black. Make sure you set aside some black to do the detail later on. Keep going until you're happy with the shape. It should look kind of like an egg. Now take your toothpick. We're going to make two holes for Sean's nostrils. And we're also going to make a smile. Like this. Looking good! Now we're going to take some of the black Play-Doh to make Sean's ears. Smooth down the edges. They should look like a long skinny teardrop. Add them to the top of his head. And don't forget to do both of them. Cute. Now we're going to make eyes for Sean so he can see. We're going to make the eyes out of white Play-Doh. Make them big and round, then stick them on. Use a tiny bit of black Play-Doh to add the detail. Just like so. 
And don't forget, Sean needs some wool on top of his head. Use a bit of the white Play-Doh to add this. We want to make the shape round, and then using our Play-Doh knife, cut away some sections of the edge. This will give it texture and make it look more like wool. See? Super cute! Now set the head aside because we're going to make Sean's body. First of all, we're going to make two thin sausage shapes out of the black Play-Doh. Flatten them at the top, and don't forget to make two. These are going to be Sean's legs. We're going to sit our white Play-Doh on top of them, like so. Now take some more black Play-Doh. Because we need to make Sean's arms. See? Add them to the top of his body, and soon we're going to add his head on top. Don't forget to do his second arm. Now we're going to take our toothpick and add it to the top of Sean's body. And to finish it all off, we're going to add his head on top. And there you go! Doesn't he look good? A Play-Doh Sean the Sheep! So thank you very much for watching Hoopla Kids How To everyone. Bye! Hello and welcome to Hoopla Kids How To everyone. Today we are going to be making a Play-Doh Hello Kitty. Now this looks really great but it's actually really easy. All you need is a knife, some yellow Play-Doh, black Play-Doh, white Play-Doh and red Play-Doh. Or you could use pink. The first thing to do is to make Hello Kitty's head. We want to roll a ball in white, but make sure you leave a bit for her ears. The ears are just two loops, like so. Attach them to the top of her head. Now we're going to make the bow. The bow is one small ball and two slightly bigger balls on either side. Like I said, you can do this in red or pink. Now put a yellow ball on the front for Hello Kitty's nose. Don't forget two black eyes. And there are three whiskers on either side in black. These are just rolled out and stuck on. And there you have it. A Hello Kitty made out of Play-Doh. Isn't that cool? Thanks so much for watching. Hello and welcome to Hoopla Kids How To. Today I am going to show you how to make the most awesome Play-Doh wheels on the bus. This is one of my favourite songs. All you're going to need is yellow Play-Doh, blue Play-Doh, a rolling pin, black Play-Doh, white Play-Doh, a Play-Doh knife, and silver Play-Doh. So let's get started! The first thing we need to do is of course make the shape of the bus, and we're going to make it out of yellow Play-Doh. We want to make it into a box shape. Slice down the edges so that they're super smooth. Keep squaring it off. It should look like a brick. Now we're going to take our silver Play-Doh. Use the rolling pin and roll it flat. We want to cut a thin strip. This is going to be the bumper bar at the front. So stick it on. Cut off any excess. The bumper bar doesn't go around the sides. 
Now we're going to take the blue Play-Doh. We want to make the windows out of this. Roll it super flat. And then cut a rectangle. We want it to be the same size as the front of the bus. Use your fingers to measure. Smooth down the edges and then pop it on. Using some white Play-Doh, I'm making the headlights. See? It's already starting to look like a bus. I'm using a tiny thin bit of white Play-Doh to put some wipers on there. Because don't forget, the wipers on the bus go swish, swish, swish. I'm adding detail with the black. I'm also adding detail to the headlights with the black. This makes the headlights look like eyes. Super cute. Now I'm taking some more of my blue Play-Doh. It's rolled flat. I'm cutting it into squares so that I can make windows for the side. Nearly done. Now, of course, what are we missing? The wheels. The wheels on the bus go round and round. So we're gonna take some black Play-Doh and roll them into a flat disc. It should be circular because the wheels are, of course, round. Stick them on. Then we're gonna use a tiny bit of the silver Play-Doh to add the hubcaps in the middle. Don't forget to do the wheels on the other side of the bus. Nearly finished. Now I'm taking a little bit more of the yellow Play-Doh. We want to make the wing mirrors. Just like this. Stick them on the side. Perfect! And we're done! Doesn't he look cute? A perfect Play-Doh wheels on the bus! Cool. Thanks so much for watching. Bye. Hello and welcome to Hoopla Kids How To everyone. Today we are going to be making an awesome Play-Doh butterfly. Now this is so easy to do and is great for the little ones as well. All you need for this is a knife, a rolling pin and all different coloured Play-Dohs. So the first thing to do is to make the middle of the butterfly. This is just a long strip like so. Now it's time to make the wings. What you want to do is cut out a B shape after you've rolled your Play-Doh flat. Don't forget to make two, one for either side. You can use a pencil if you don't want to use a knife. So now put your wings together and put the body of the butterfly on top. Now it's time to decorate the wings. You can get creative, do any shape you want. I've got four big pink spots. And now I'm doing little blue dots on top. What different colours are you going to use? Now it's time to do the butterfly's antenna. And of course, eyes and a smile. And there you have it, a Play-Doh butterfly. 
So thank you very much for watching Hoopla Kids How To Everyone. Thanks for watching.